Hi guys, my name is Kushal Singh and welcome to this session on Unacademy. So like most of you know and some of you don't, on Unacademy's YouTube channel, we not only help you prepare for the examination by uh, giving you theory-based session, practice session, and sessions related to your subjects, but we also have a lot of content relating to colleges, careers in law, how to navigate the decision of which law college to go in, what exams to apply for, and all the things that can help you in achieving your dream of getting into law college. And today's session is related to session. So today I am going to tell you about one examination that a lot of students are now moving towards. It's so like we have the CLAT examination uh, for the national law universities. We similarly have LSAT examination. It's a scholastic aptitude test which is taken for or which is for law colleges or private law colleges across the country. This examination is held by LSAT, the uh, the company that does the examination and has tie-ups with a lot of great private universities. Now with over the past few years with a lot of students preferring or with a lot of students preferring to take law as a career, to take uh, the life of law or take uh, LLB as a career option. We have seen that a lot of new private law colleges and other law colleges have come in apart from your NLUs, which are providing quality legal education. So LSAT is written for that, to get admission into a good private law colleges. And one of the colleges that uh, takes the score of LSAT examination is Jindal Global Law School. And there are about 50 other universities and colleges as well that accept the score of LSAT. And for all of you who are planning to take the LSAT examination, let me also tell you one important piece of information. That is, every year the topper of the LSAT examination is also given a scholarship of rupees 4 lakh. Now, this is only for the 5 year course and not applicable for the 3 year course. However, the LSAT examination also offers you an opportunity to get a scholarship which helps you reduce your cost of education as well. Now, as far as we talk about the examination, how it is different, this examination is for the private law colleges and the fees for the examination. Now, the fees for the examination depends on which intake of the examination you are going for. Depending on the intake of the examination, the closer you register, that is say, for example, if your exam is in May and you are registering in March, then you're going to pay higher, you're going to have to pay a higher amount than if you would register in January. The amount is slightly different and you can also make extra payments while registering for the examination and that extra payments make, uh, make you eligible to receive a lot of study materials from the side of LSAT examination. Now that might be important while registering for the examination because LSAT has its own format of the examination which is slightly different from the kind of patterns that we have seen in any other law examination. Yes, of course, the basics are similar and the skills that they are trying to test while taking the examination are also very similar. However, the way in which this exam is formatted can be slightly different from all the other law entrance examination that you are preparing for. So I would suggest that when you are registering for the examination, do get their study material do get that preparation material as well as it will help you prepare for the examination in a better and a more apt and accurate manner. So this is about the examination. What is the fees that you have to pay for the examination? Now let us talk about the format of the examination. The exam is going to be, in fact, LSAT is one of the first exams to have an online proctored test. So they have an online proctored test. However, your counseling sessions for this examination will not be online. They will happen face to face. They will happen offline. Currently, due to the COVID scenarios, uh, they have or are looking at other options as well. But the exam happens in the online proctored format and the counseling happens in an offline 
format. Now, this is about the examination, its structure, and what does it get you admitted to. Now, let us get into what the format of the examination is and how you can prepare for that examination and what are the things that you need to keep in mind when you are preparing for the LSAT examination. So before I tell you a little bit more about the LSAT examination, let me quickly also remind you that you can use an academy and its various great features to help you prepare for the examination. An academy doesn't only prepare you for the tests for the theories of the examination, it also helps you prepare for the exam by giving you a lot of tests, giving you a lot of access to detailed courses, doubt clearing session and above all, all the preparation is in your hands. When I say in your hands, you decide when you want to study and you decide who you want to study from. So if you haven't yet registered for an academy, register at the earliest using my code KUSHALLIVE and get a 10% discount. Not just that, you can also use this code to unlock a lot of free content. The free content on an academy includes special classes and a lot of other free tests that you can take up to ensure that you are at the same level as other students or to understand where you are lacking and make corrections and start improving your weaker areas as well. If you have liked this video up until now, do not forget to subscribe and comment on this video and also let me know what are the other areas on which you would like to like me to make videos or if you have any doubts relating to LSAT, you can leave those also in the comment section down below. Now, when we talk about the examination, LSAT examination and its format, you see that each area has about similar number of questions. You have two hours and 20 minutes total for the examination and each area gives you 35 minutes. However, you will definitely notice that there are two logical reasoning areas or two areas in which they are going to ask you logical reasoning. This logical reasoning one and logical reasoning two one of these areas is where you are going to get your legal reasoning question as well. However, this examination doesn't test your memory, doesn't test your ability to remember things, doesn't test your current affairs skills like the other examination do. Rather, this examination is focusing on two main areas. One is your ability and your grasp over the English language which is tested using the reading comprehension and your logical and analytical abilities. Are you somebody who can put two different pieces of information together to arrive at a conclusion? Yes, then this examination exactly tests that skill and you may have a chance to perform well in this examination. These are the various areas on which you are tested for this examination. And like I mentioned in the beginning, being an examination which tests more of your skills rather than your knowledge, the preparation for this examination is slightly different. First and foremost, if you are looking to prepare for the LSAT examination, I would really, really recommend that all of you start reading a lot and you start reading voraciously because this examination has a slightly passage. Its questions are all longer. It's passage based questions. It's slightly advanced language to test if you can differentiate between what information needs to be retained and what information needs to be left alone. So if you are indeed planning to prepare for the LSAT examination, start reading today itself. And when you are preparing for the LSAT examination, you can also download a lot of free content from LSAT's official website, wherein you will get free books, free tests, that can help you prepare for the examination, download them. And when you are registering, you can pay a slightly extra amount to get access to their books, their preparation material, which will help you prepare for the exam in a better manner. Nonetheless, like I said, reading comprehension is of utmost importance. Another area that this examination tests you on are your logical verbal reasoning and analytical reasoning area. So these are the areas that you need to concentrate on if you are preparing for the LSAT examination.
that is all for today's session guys thank you so much for attending today's session if you want to use an academy and make it a part of your preparation of examination download the app at the earliest and use my code k u s h a n l i b e to get your subscription get a discount on your subscription or to unlock a lot of free content all the free content includes special classes your free content includes tests that you can take and all of this completely free of cost the links are given down below click on the link download the app use my code and unlock the free content and another great advantage of the special classes on an academy is the fact that you can interact with your faculty directly you can sit in the class live if you miss the live of course there's always a recorded session but in the live class you can interact with your faculty with a click of button directly ask them doubts get your doubts cleared the advantages and the experience of learning on the an academy platform is completely seamless enhances your learning experience helps you get uh, the best results from the classes and have a lot of interactability with your faculty so do not forget to download the app at the earliest and start your journey towards preparing for the examinations also if you have any more doubts in relation to this lsat examination drop a comment down below so that i can come back and answer your question in a detailed manner thank you so much for watching this video see you guys do not forget to like share and subscribe